Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going to create a card for LDRS Creative and we are using a stamp set called Friends. This is a cute, it's a larger stamp set. It's actually a 6x8 stamp set, so lots of images in here. Great for scene building, so we're going to create a cute little scene um, card today. Um, in the stamp set, there's this little girl. She's so sweet and her hands are held out. Now she could be holding the pie that's in the stamp set, the present, the flowers, but I thought it'd be cute just to leave her arms open as if she were picking up the little puppy that's in the stamp set. There's a few puppies. One of them is facing her, so I thought it would work out perfectly. So we'll take the little girl, place her on some alcohol marker friendly paper. We're going to stamp the fence, actually stamp the fence a couple times. There's a little ducky, and then we're also going to stamp the doorway or the um, doorway arch. I'm just going to close the lid of my Misty, and then I'll ink up my images with my Raven ink pad. Um, I am going to color in my images with um, my Copic markers, and I actually uh, did it off screen to save me a little bit of time. Sometimes I like to do it off screen because I can take my time in coloring. Um, in the evening when my family's home I have a lot of interruptions so sometimes it's just easier. <laughs> but my images are colored in and I use the coordinating dies to die cut them out and I think they look so cute. You can see I did stamp two of the fences. I want to put one fence to the left and then one fence to the right of the archway. There's my little wreath, and then there's that cute little puppy. And you can see he's kind of looking up, so I thought it'd be cute if he was um, looking up at um, his little friend there. <laughs> okay, once my images are all taken out of uh, their um, negative space, we're gonna set them aside, and we are gonna work on our background. We're gonna bring in two um, items from the new release that just came out. Um, I'm gonna use the Anytime, st uh, st Anytime Stack sentiment strip stamp set this thing is so fun it has lots of sentiments you could you can mix and match and build and, and um, super fun I'm gonna stamp them the entire it's only one stamp which is nice so you just place it on your your cardstock and then um, you ink it up and then it stamps all these sentiments at once which is great once the sentiments are stamped, there's a coordinating die that will line up on the squares of this sentiment um, stamp. Um, there's actually lots, um, well not lots, um, there's a few in the shop right now of the, um, the stack sentiments th that coordinate with this die. This die will line up on those squares. Um, I already cut out some black, plain black strips to mat my sentiments behind, but um, I thought those were so neat. I so enjoy die cutting these all at once and they're not handy to have on hand. <laughs> um, we just line it up, all those four squares, and when you die cut it out, it just cuts out the strips. It doesn't cut out those little squares. And um, you just pick the one you want to use for your project. And for today, I'm going to use the one that says, um, there was a toss up, but I thought thank you for being you would be perfect for my card today. Okay, I kept one of my black strips too that was the same size. I thought we would mat our sentiment on that black strip. Now for my background, I'm gonna use the With All My Heart die. This um, creates a A2 size panel with stitch detail around the edges. Um, so it'll, get my, it'll fit my card front perfectly. And then there is deboss detail with this die. It's kind of hard to tell with my lighting, but it's the same um, images that's on the stencil. I'm going to start off by doing some um, blending with my hybrid ink pad here. I'm using, um, this one is Swimming Hole, it's a light pale blue, and just doing a little shading, concentrating it in the center and then kind of fading out. And what it's going to do is pick up that debossed area and make it stand out. And that's what I was looking for, but not around the edges, just in that center area. I wanted to bring in a little bit of yellow, so this here is Lantern Yellow. And just using my blending brush, I'm going to go around the outside edges. Um, in the close-up pictures, you'll be able to see the definition that this adds. Okay. Now, I really wanted those flowers in my background to pop a little bit more. So the stencil will line up. You just got to find the right position. But it lines up perfectly with the debossed area from um, our panel there. So I'm lining it up, and then I'm going to go over it with a darker blue ink. This ink is Bally Blue, 
and I'll do just basically the same thing concentrating in the middle and you're kind of blending out with my Bally Blue and what this is going to do the flowers on my background a few of them are going to stand out super neat so I'm happy with this so we're going to go ahead flip this panel over and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to my card base which is the standard A2 size card base and again this is um, four and a quarter by five and a half inch so it's it's a complete card front okay once that's adhered we can kind of we're going to flip these over and add foam adhesive behind each one of our elements I have some small form squares that will fit perfectly behind there and then once we have that done I'm gonna before I remove the release paper I'm gonna figure my placement out um, in the stamp set there's a little grassy area and I thought we'd add some grass to the kind of ground our scene so we'll take that, put it on an acrylic block, and then I'm going to bring in my green ink. I have, I'm going to bring in two different shades of green ink. I'm going to be using um, Key Lime Pie, which will be my lighter ink, and I'll just ink up my grass. And then using my olive branch ink, I'm going to just go over the very top of my the blades of grass. So it's two-tone, but it just adds a little bit of extra something. So I stamped one in the middle. I'm going to do it again, ink up with my, my key lime pie, and then go over the top with my olive branch and stamp to the left here. Now I'm pressing real pretty hard because it is a debossed background, and I wanted to make sure that ink, um, if it hit one of the debossed areas, that it was actually going to set in there. So I did it three times, and I'm happy with the outcome. Now can we just remove the release paper and I'm going to go ahead and add my little archway and then I'm going to add the fence to the left and the right. Next I'm going to add my little girl. She is so cute holding her little purse. <laughs> you can see her arms are, are, um, are out. Um, so she could be holding anything but I thought it'd be cute if we added the little doggy right next to her. So. He was looking up, so I thought it'd be cute if 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 she was reaching out to pick him up. <laughs> okay, for my sentiment, we're gonna mat it on a strip of the um, black cardstock that I die cut out with the um, sentiment stack dies, and I thought it was too bold that black was. So we're just gonna remove that the black um, outline there, and I'm gonna add foam adhesive behind it and just add that underneath my blades of grass. All we have left is to add a little bit of sparkle and I'm going to be using some Rangers Diamond Stickles, some glitter glue. I'm going to add a few dots in the background, filling in the little flowers. And then I did add it to the center of flower and the arch and the blades of grass and then also a little bit to her hair just like the sun shining since so she's a little blondie. <laughs> but that's my card today using the LDRS Creative Friends stamp set. I hope you enjoyed my project. Thank you so much for stopping by. I wish you a fabulous day and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.